Hello. Welcome to the TV room. Dave Radley here. All right. So, I have been downstairs. And if you have watched before, I was testing some tapes before. And I have some that supposedly were working. They were working in this machine, but this machine is not put back together yet. And this one has a funky, wonky keyboard. <clears throat> so, all I can really do is close this down. Turn it on. What does this say? I have no clue. All right, we're going to pop this in. Press rewind. It is rewound. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do shift, run stuff. Press play on tape one. Okay. We're searching. But will it actually find something? I don't know. It does. It is spinning the tape. So it means that the belt is not screwed <clears throat> but will it work I don't know that's part of the mystery when I got this I said there are three things we have to test does the computer come up okay the computer comes up how's the keyboard well the keyboard isn't great does the data set work not so far well it's searching mind you Tapes are finicky. They are indeed. And so far, nothing is coming up. Well, maybe what I should do while that is doing that is I should take these other tapes that supposedly work <clears throat> and I should start to put the chips that belong in this machine, in this machine, and even with the very bright light, it's always good to have some extra light here. So, and also, oh yeah, like butter, the deoxid. Besides doing <clears throat> the micro corrosion thing, chips do seem to go in nicer. They do. Yes. They do. Nothing like a little lubrication. Okay, so this is searching, and it's not finding anything. Now, does that mean the data set is not working? Not necessarily. Because there still could be chip trouble. There could be. But ooh, that's a little off on that one, I think. Nope, that doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel right. With old chips like this, it doesn't feel right. Just take a moment. Take a moment. Okay, that's definitely not reading anything. So, I'm going to stop. I'm going to re rewind. I'm going to grab another tape. I'm going to rewind. I'm going to stop. And 
take this out. I put this in. Bears. Speak easy software. Build bulls and bears. Well, I'm going to press play. Oh, I should. Oh, yeah. It came out of it. So it wasn't stuck. Shift. Run. It's loading or trying to. Okay, so. The ROM chips are in here. Just the 6502. Now, once again, I'm going, you know what? Somewhere, somewhere, I have these really cool lights that I can clip right inside the machine. They're LED lights. Oh, I see a bent pin a little bit. Just a little bit. But that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Just a little. Oh, man. Okay, that feels like it went in. Now here is the one I've got to be careful with. This is the one. <clears throat> the witness mark is the only one that it is different. So let's get her lined up nice. Oh, that doesn't feel so nice. <clears throat> All right. Okay, we're searching, but we're not loading. So, something is not happening. I'm going to pull this closer. These sockets, the the one, the ram, sorry, the ones for the RAM and others, are pretty forgiving. These ones here are not so forgiving. They are challenging. This one here for this ROM is pretty okay. Okay, we're in. Checking the witness mark. What is this? 6522. Okay, we're loading. But we're not loading. See, there's still. Oh, no, that's in. So there still is a chance that there is a chip problem. That is not letting this work. My gut tells me it's probably not what what. But you never know, you know. Okay. Alright, so everything is in. The chip holder is out. Can I get my hand back here to turn it on and hope that it comes to life? Oh, okay, we don't have a cursor. That is not encouraging. Let's try that again. Okay, we do not have... Oh, okay, you know what? Boy, this chip and I are cursed. If I look at this, I do believe the same chip that I was being so careful to make sure I don't screw up on, I was one pin off. So the end pin was not actually in the socket. And that will cause no end of trouble. At least that's what I think happened. Okay, hang on. Let's just make sure we've got everything just so. And it is in the correct configuration. And we have the P 
Things lined up. Okay. We're definitely in. We're definitely in. We're definitely in. We'll turn it on. I think I heard the tape drive. Ha ha! We've got a cursor. Thank God these chips are kind of forgiving. Okay. So now we're going down. Stop. Going to press run stop. Hit respond. And we're going to rewind. Now, this here, this is the first tape that we tried. It is rewound. We'll do the same thing. Shift run stop. Press play. Okay. And we are searching. Now, this did work in here before. So one of the things that when I was talking to Rudy, he suggested that I should do is take loading. Okay, is take this board out of here, put it in here with all its stuff, and that too will be able to tell is the keyboard is the keyboard on this because of a chip? Is the data set that we know is working? Does it work with this board? So we are loading. And that makes good sense. See, I could take the data set out. I could do all kinds of elaborate things. I could. I think I would rather not. So this just says found. Found. I didn't say what it's found. It says loading. It does seem to be taking a good while. It does. It's taken a while. But I think this might have been chess, and if it was chess, it's probably a fair size program. So, as always with a data set, we must be patient. Patient, patient, patient. The thing we know where something didn't go well is if suddenly the tape pops up. Oh, micro chess 2.0. Micro rare limited by Peter Jennings. Oh, but I oh. Okay, I see funny characters on the screen, but maybe that is the program saying, yo, I'm getting ready. Perhaps it is. <coughs> I will press rewind. Yep, it's counting. It's doing things. It's gathering itself. Probably reading data. So it was a long load. And it's in. It's in. It is counting. One thing I got to do is reach back here. Oh, yeah. It's funny. If I, I was reaching back to see if I feel the adjuster for the monitor. And I do. See, on this one, I do not find the adjuster for the monitor. It's actually quite bright. So I wonder. I wonder. Is it broken off? Is it missing? Is it? Did they decide that maybe they should have it to be a screwdriver inside. This is still doing its thing here. <coughs> so I'm not going to fret. Not yet. So I think what I might do, just because I'm here again, I'll turn this off. <clears throat> and 
and I will try without doing any harm to turn this around. Oh yeah. And see what I can see. Inside this hole. Okay, I do see an adjuster. Shock hazard, do not open. <laughs> Boy, I know I loaded up micro chest once before. I just don't remember that it took this long. So, remember, don't do this. Don't do this. Actually, the one nice thing about these machines is the back cover does come off. The thing is still counting. I suspect it has much data to read in. Okay. This monitor, as I said, it's a little wavy, a little wonky. It is because two. Okay, come on. I'm gonna try to take this off with my fingers. I don't want the screw to fall in. Okay, so there is the adjuster, and it does look like it has broken off but it's still there so oh there's a number on the back of this 999-000-26 number one probably this was from a school made in usa Commodore PET 2001 8. 115 volts, 1 amp, 1.1 amp, 60 hertz. Serial number 10495. Okay, so here, there's the back. A great hunk of metal. This is still doing something. Okay, now, all right, I'm going to turn this back around a bit. Now, I want to be careful not to touch anything that should not be touched. Because you can get shocked inside these things. Okay, so I'm going to put my hand onto the thing. Ah, yes. I think that is a good setting. Ooh. This is still counting. All right. Now, do I want to hurry? And, oh, I should turn this off. Do I want to hurry and put the cover back on? Perhaps I do. Because I'll tell you, there's one thing that I am not crazy about. I mean, I like monitors. I'm not crazy about the voltages that linger inside. So, I have adjusted it. I think it's quite acceptable. This is still counting. Very strange. But it seems okay. Anyway, we'll see. I'll just let it keep counting. So, indeed, the only way to really adjust this, because the thing is broken, is to open it up. And tweak it. There is 
no screwdriver things. I wonder if that is something that I should see about correcting or not. Basically, as always with things like this, it's a potentiometer. There we go. So the things that is making the monitor kind of wave a bit are the two of the nuts that should be down underneath here are not. Oh, I've never had them missing before, but they will not. They will not be difficult. I will not. Oh, oh no. Okay. I I wish I remembered how long this took, but I'm just gonna leave this sitting here and then oh, I'm gonna open this up. And look inside. And I suppose one thing I could do also, I guess who knows, is I can take a pencil eraser and go at the connector. For the data set. Now, is that going to make any difference? I don't know. But you never know, you know. And then I'll work it. Work it. Work it a bit. See if any micro corrosion in there. Down. We figured I'll do the same for. Well, I'll wiggle the power connector. It is turned off. Everything looks okay. The the keyboard connector. I'm kind of worried about. There is. There's definitely been a little work done to a wire on here. But these things happen. This is still counting. Okay, well. <clears throat> maybe micro chess is not the best thing. I know I played it. I just don't remember that it took this long to load. So I'm going to put this tape back in. I'm going to do the shift run stop. I'm going to press play. I mean, it's a good sign that it's searching. It would be nice if it found something. It would. It's still counting. I am perplexed. I don't suspect this made any difference. I suppose one thing I could do would be to try and clean the head also. On the thing. I wonder if I press run stop, is this going to stop? Abort. No. What's this? Oh, okay. Well, maybe it just takes this long. It obviously is still alive and doing things. And this is searching. And finding nothing. Back a bit. Yeah. 
getting this. So if I'm going to rewind, I'm going to eject this. And I'm going to put this one in. Is it going to make any difference? No, not at all. I don't believe it will. I just don't think so. But we'll see. Let it work. This thing is taking a while. Taking a good while. And this may work. At least the bag says it works. But I just never remembered this thing taking this long. There must be an awful lot of data. It's not happening here. So we'll press rewind. That beautiful sound. We'll eject. If I had another data set handy, I could always hook into another port. I could. <laughs> I won't. What's the nice thing about having another machine right here? That is. Driver fit somewhat. All right. Teeny tiny screw. Oh, working in the dark. No, it's a Phillips. The first one I took out was a socket screw. And that one is a Phillips. All right, we'll put that over there, and then there should be one more. I think. I believe there are three. And you should be back. Oh, yeah. Way back in there. Oh, come on. I can't get stuck. Maybe I have a screwdriver that's too tall. All right. Hold on there. Um, yes, okay. Here. Is a shorter screwdriver. See this pet? The top of the pet can be troublesome at times. It can get in the way. Oh, yeah. I do see one capacitor in there. It looks a little snowy. So now I'm going to unplug the 
power connector. So unplug the keyboard connector. I will unplug the um, data set and then the monitor set. Oh, well, that little foot is not connected. It seems that only one of the little feet is connected as it should be to the bottom. And so, out comes the board. And there it is. The original bird. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Here. There it is with its big heat sinks and all the chips in there. So that is working. I'm getting a little tired of this. The board. Yes. Oh God, it's starting again. Yes. I wonder. Okay, I think I should have tried a different program in here. The chest just seems I know it works. What can I find? That is a black track. Okay. Let's try black track. All right. We'll rewind. We'll rewind. I'll do shift run stop. We'll press play on tape one. Why does it say tape one? Well, because there's two. Yes. We are on the air. Found blackjack loading. Okay, that's encouraging. Quite encouraging. Okay. But still, data sets, they are slow. But we are loading. Well, this is taking time to load. Perhaps I will look at the bottom of the board and see if I see anything. Oh. Well, one thing I see, it certainly looks like all the RAM, ch ROM chips have had work. Maybe the sockets were all replaced. We're in. Blackjack is in. If you look at the bar board there, you can see the dark spots. Like the flux around those. Or, I mean, that could have been filled with Place your bets. 1,000. Syntax error. Oh, dear. I am shuffling. Place your bet. Let's try 10. Syntax error. Great. Maybe it didn't quite load right. Valp. D5 equals 1. Well, let's list 40,000 40, onward. Being ready to stop. Hmm. 
my guess tells me that this vowel should be an if. For I five. I'm just looking. Maybe I need to look back. LP5 equals 1. No, I don't believe that's... Oh, there's an L, though. Maybe I'll just do... If L equals 1, then 40, 50. Let's try that. Run. Am I going to bet? Ten. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Would you like a hit? No. Okay, the cards down below. Did not really come up right. And now I had 10. Okay. I'll bet 20. Ah, oh, now the card came up, right? Okay. Would you like a hit? No. I have to, Oh, I lost. 100. Okay. So this is working. Would you like a hit? Yes. I busted. <sighs> no. Okay. I'll bet 200. Yes, you busted. Oh, I'm down below. Oh, oh, 500. Queen, six. Would you like a hit? No. I lost. Down, down, 510. All right, I'll bet 1,000. Would you like a hit? No. 10, 16, 26. Dealer busted. I'm now ahead. 190. So it seems that this loaded okay. Uh, and that's it. Okay. I will list this. And it went okay. Okay, so that is probably enough. Or today, I wonder, though. I mean, it almost loaded properly. Almost. Let's run it again. And I'll just try bidding 10 again. See if the cards come up properly or not. 10. No, the first time through, they absolutely don't. Would I like a hit? I'm going to say no. I lost. Okay. 20. Now the cards come up. So there's obviously something. Yes. 21. What? 10. No, no, no. no. How is that possible? I did not bust. A 10, a 4, and a 7 is 21. 100. Okay, there may be something still not quite right. <sighs> Blackjack. I lost. Okay. Blackjack. I'm ahead by 170. Good. $5,000. I have 20. Like hit? No. We tied, but I lost. I guess the tie. 5,000. Let's try again. No. I lost. I'm down 9,830. Okay. 
you win. How? How did I win? Okay, something is not quite right on its thinking here. But it loaded. So, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to pop this out. I'm going to rewind the tape. No, I can't rewind the tape. I turned it off. Okay, I'm going to take this tape out. Did I rewind it? I didn't rewind it. Okay, I think that is enough for now. <coughs> so what I'm going to do next, <coughs> when we next meet, is I'm going to take the board out of here, put the other one in so I can test the keyboard, and if the keyboard works and if the data set works, because I know it works on here even though the tape may be a little wonky. So that's it. That's all for now. Thanks for coming as we continue to explore these lovely old machines. Oh, that's kind of in the way. That's in the way. Heaven. All right. Bye for now.